This is a driving exam from Hofheim am Taunus from the TÜV Service Center and we finished in Bad Soden am Taunus at the Esso gas station. After the examiner has asked a few questions about the car, for here was it for example the hazard lights, so please switch on the hazard lights and the dipped headlights we needed anyway for the rainy weather and uh, then we started the driving and we were leaving the private property to the left side here is the visibility always not so well because you know, the parked cars on the left and right side are taking the visibility but the students train it very often so it's no problem to drive out. We approached a situation where two trucks were blocking each other. The green truck needed to wait because he had the parked cars on his side and we wanted to turn right. You see the stop sign. Let's see if the driving student is stopping. He's keeping right at the corner, at the curbstone, and then finally a full stop. After the full stop, he checked the left side that no one was coming, checked the right blind spot, and then we could go to the right side. Here we have the priority sign. We can clearly go on driving, and then behind the traffic light, we are leaving the city of Hofheim. The end of city sign is coming on the left side and directly a 60 sign for the curve. It's rainy weather which means the way of braking is longer compared to a dry street but as long as there's no one in front of us, we don't need to change anything with the speed. That's why it looks very fast. That's around 80. That's the speed limit which was written on the sign. From here, we are taking the way to Liederbach, driving a little bit to, through Liederbach for some basic exercises like reverse parking and turnaround and then we were taking the motorway to Kelkheim direction. In Kelkheim we were doing the emergency braking, the emergency braking of uh, out of the speed of 30 from 30 to 0 in very quick time. And from there we were driving back the motorway to Bad Soden am Taunus where we finished the driving exam at the Esso gas station. The complete driving time will be around 34-35 minutes and the official time for exam is 55 minutes. So not the whole 55 minutes are driving time. We have to um, check the ID of the student, the payment of the TÜV fees need to be proved. The examiner needs to tell the students how the driving exam will take part, where they go. If nothing is said, we go straight. If uh, straight is not allowed, you need to ask if we go left or right. Yeah, the examiner um, give the rules, and you will see if you if you hear the rules 
of the exam it will be exactly the same how your instructor was preparing the rules with you so it's nothing new it's everything perfect here the examiner asked the student to turn right so he indicated right and important if we are leaving the country road to another country road first you should get into the lane with all four wheels and then breaking down you see the giveaway sign but on the left side you don't see a left turner from oncoming traffic that's why a right turn is easy to do and there's no danger about um, violating the priority rule here the examiner asked the student to turn right on the left side for left turn you see stop signs we only have the giveaway sign the student stayed right side connected to the white solid line that's perfect so you don't invite the bicycles to overtake you on the right side but you have to check anyway if someone is doing it after the right turn was no speeding sign which means the basic rule of 100 kilometers per hour is valid now here's the 80 sign and you see the 60 sign on the right side that was it with 100 no fun on german streets please turn right the next street and that's what the student did he used his mirror then the indicator right again we have an extra separate lane to break down he went in with the full speed of 60 and now he braked down to around 30 taking the third gear for the exit and enjoying the light wet curve to the right side we enter the city of Liederbach on the right side you see the board maximum speed is 50 right now now we turn right after the right turn you can see the 30 zone beginning of 30 zone which means maximum speed limit is 30 and the basic priority rule is right before left and of course you don't want to miss the right before left in your driving exam so the student detected the first street on the right side he slowed down checked the right side but you see the blue sign on the right corner it's a one-way street going away so in this case there was no right before left rule because no one can come out of this street not even bicycles there was no additional sign that it was allowed for bicycles to drive out of there that's why we can ignore this street we have the obstacle on our side he started with mirror and indicator left and he waited behind the parked car and now you see the oncoming traffic stops and he gives us the headlights but <laughs> he thought we want to turn left because we were standing there and indicating left but we just indicated left for passing the parked car what we have to do as soon as the student realized that the car wants, uh, wanted to let us go into the left street he stopped indicating that was a misunderstanding of our indicator and the student realized that and he immediately switched off the indicator and then the oncoming traffic was passing us right before left rule nice slow approach over here checking no one coming and enjoying the start of the car the examiner asked asked the student to turn right nothing easier than that mirror indicator blind spot slowing down do not overdrive the forbidden field the white field on the right side slow approach right side is parked car and lights are coming from the right side and a car with lights so easy to recognize that and a big spot on the right side that's an invitation for making the reverse parking so the examiner did it a nice and quiet street please stop 
on the street near to the black car and park reverse right behind this car. Reverse gear in and the process starts. Watch out the left side if you go reverse and using the right steering the front of the car is moving to the left side. A car cannot fit right now but probably a bicycle, a motorcyclist or a pedestrian. So first attempt was a little bit too far away. No problem. In my, in my lessons you learn how to make correction. Yeah? You probably will not hit the spot at the very first time. In 80% of the cases in exams you need to make a correction like the student did here. So it's not the big deal to know when you need to make the right steering and then the left steering. You need to know how to make a correction that you are in a perfect position at the end. And that's helpful. And within the next weeks I want to produce a video where I show you the corrections of the parking process. The more you go reverse, the more space you have in front to go out. So you don't need the steering wheel too much to the left side and after that to the right side. And the more you go back, the easier you can see if someone is coming from the front. Now we turned right. Not much space left on the right street because of the parked cars. He approached so slowly and entered the right street. Obstacle on the right side, mirror indicator, blind spot, passing the parked cars. No entry signs in front of us. He asked left or right. Examiner said right please. So we turned right. Parked car on the right side. Not much rest on the street. Checking, no one coming and turning into the next street. And again, no entry signs in front. Do we go left or right, examiner? Please turn left. Okay. Oncoming traffic is free. Right side not visible right now. Slowing down, checking the right side. No one there. Blind spot left side and a nice big turn into the right side of the street. Now we come to the next street on the right side. It's also a one-way street, but with an additional sign, bicycles can come out of the right street. He checked, no bicycles, and we went on. Obstacle on the right side, mirror, indicator, blind spot, passing. Then the examiner said, please turn right the next street. Okay, we turn right, mirror, indicator, blind spot, and right turn. There was the sign dead end. The students saw it immediately and asked, what do we do? Should we turn around? Yes, please. Very well recognized. Please turn the car around. Okay, he checked out. On the right side is a trailer, and next to the trailer are... Uh, two spots free, so he placed his car into a smart direction. In the back camera you can see what he aims now. Reverse gear in and aiming the open and the closed garage behind him next to the red trailer. It's always the best option if you if you don't have a roundabout, if you need to use reverse gear, go reverse right into a spot and forward out because in first gear you can start immediately. If you go forward next to the red trailer, you need to come out reverse on the street. It's possible, but much harder to do. Now we turn right, please. Mirror, indicator, blind spot, and a nice right turn. We have the priority sign on the right side, so no need to check anything. We just enjoy the priority street. 
here you see probably that it's the speed is a little bit higher than 30 he was at 36 37 but he is still in a 30 zone on the right side you see the bus stop and directly behind the bus stop you see end of 30 zone but it was not a big problem that he did it now we wanted to turn left giveaway sign means check left and right side as a left turner oncoming traffic everything is clear and we can go left out of the city of Liederbach left side is the end of city sign coming to the country road and from left side people are approaching and we have a very broad uh, lane on the right side which means we have an acceleration lane you can see clearly the speed limit of 60 indicator left is on blind spot and changing into the left lane and on the right side behind the bus stop is the speed checking machine so you better do not over speed in your exam otherwise you have a picture of failing <laughs> then the examiner asked please turn left direction board says we have an extra lane for breaking down which means we enter the turning lane with a full speed of 60 now breaking down to 20 shifting to second gear blind spot and turning fortunately there was no oncoming traffic and we could do the turning process without stopping if there's oncoming traffic we just have to go straight to the center of the intersection and wait we enter a motorway motorway and highway is, we can all call it autobahn it's all the same entrance you have to do the same no matter what the name is in the last right curve you have to indicate left when you come parallel to the high high speed road you accelerate very strongly and integrate into the high speed very well done he saw one was overtaking and yeah, he let him go and behind him he changed if you drive the uh, over 60 kilometers per hour behind your car begins a suction of the air and the back window you can see right now the back window gets full of water and I always tell my students if you want to prove that you use your mirror correctly you see that and you switch on your back wiper and now you will see that right now nothing is happening in the in the back camera but you will see that he starts the back wiper and that makes me proud of my students And there was the cleaning moment the back wiper was started we needed to go straight that means we needed to change to the left of the two lanes because the right lane will turn right and the left lane will go straight that was written on the big direction board two kilometers ago no not two kilometers probably one kilometer ago speed limit was reduced um, from no limit to 100 then 80 and right now we are in 60 area the curve is wet we see the red white um, curve signs and it's not recommended to drive through it with the full speed of 60 probably a little bit slower around 50 is more healthy for this curve the examiner did not say where we go what does it mean we always go straight in the traffic lights you can see to what direction what lane is going if probably other cars are uh, waiting on the arrows on the ground right side is the yellow sign beginning of city of Kelkheim 
the speed limit is 50 inside the city. You have to remember that that's a basic rule. I always call it basic knowledge. You should know that when you start with your driving lessons. Then the examiner said, please turn right the next street and the student indicated left because he needed to pass the Audi car. Then he changed to the right indicator blind spot and he turned right into the street. Entering a 30 zone, we already know it's 30 speed limit and right before left rule and please turn right again. We did two exercises until now and only one is missing. It's called the emergency brake. Please drive with a speed of 30 and wait for the stop of your instructor. I checked that no one was behind us and he braked and pressed the clutch as hard as he can. Then to go on mirror indicator blinker left. No, wait, that was a mix of German and English and English. Mirror, indicator, blind spot left. That's what I wanted to say. Here he slowed down. On the right side was a street, a public street. There was a street name sign, but it was um, the curb of the, here again he does it, the curb of the pedestrian way does not turn into the street, which means that we have priority here. Later during his driving exam, the driving student um, said, ah, I remember I made a mistake in Kelkheim. There was a public street on the right side, but the curbstone was not turning into the right street. So it was not right before left, but I was slowing down and checking it. And the examiner said, yeah, yeah, that's right. We talk later about it. <laughs> so he recognized that it was not good to do. But as you can see, there was no one behind us. So it's not a dangerous situation and he was not... Uh, breaking brutally down like uh, in our simulated emergency braking situation. So absolutely no problem. So the third exercise was done. We have already been in a, a build-up area in Liederbach. So we were leaving the city of Kelkheim with the right turn here. Coming to a stop sign again to turn left, but moving to the right side to keep the left side free. Full stop before overdriving the line, checking both sides, shifting to first gear and a nice big turn to the right side of the street. If nothing is said, we always go straight. We have three options in this intersection. We can go straight or left or right. And he clearly decided to take the straight lane, which is the left of the two lanes here. Driving back to the motorway where we just came from. There is a sharp curve on the sign, sharp right curve. Now it's wet in this curve, so the speed should not be too high. And behind the curve, you see there's no acceleration lane, no integration lane. It's just going to two lanes parallel. The student decided to take the right of the two lanes because overtaking is only allowed on the left lane. Right side overtaking is not allowed. 
that's why it was very sensible to stay on the right side the speed can go up and if someone wants to go even faster he can legally overtake us on the left of the two lanes if someone is uh, slower in our lane we also can overtake so we go to the left side and overtake and after overtaking we come back to the right lane but here was no one to overtake no one was slower than the driving school car that's why we enjoyed just the street down to Bazoden direction the wipers are working front and back the visibility is good and the examiner asked the student to leave the motorway at the next exit many driving instructors in Germany teach that at 300 meter sign the indicator right needs to be switched on I do it like this so he waited for the 300 meter sign and switched on the indicator and it's very important that you do not slow down on the motorway you have to wait until you have completely changed your car into the right lane and if all four wheels are inside that lane then you can start breaking down that the right lane of the motorway is not disturbed by your braking that's why we have an extra braking lane to leave the highway at the end of this exit the examiner wanted to turn right he prepared with mirror and indicator and approached to the giveaway signs he stayed on the right side of the street he waited before the waiting line which is sensible to do one car was approaching he let him through and we could start after a blind spot on the right side we were uh, turning out then we wanted to turn left we have been here again then as a left turner you need to wait for your oncoming traffic there is oncoming traffic one car was coming then we turned and here at the island it's right before left rule because there's no traffic sign uh, placed we did not want to go straight again to the motorway that's why the examiner said please turn right to Bad Soden. we did our right turn and we entered the city of Bad Soden. on the right side you see the sign maximum speed limit is 50 and we approached a roundabout roundabout speed should be like turning speed 15 to 20 and second gear slow speed second gear check the left side no one there please take the first exit mirror indicator blind spot leaving the roundabout and it doesn't make sense to speed up because of the 30 sign here and because of the visibility of the next roundabout same thing 15 to 20 second gear checking the left side everything free entering the roundabout please take the second exit that's the first we don't want that's the second mirror indicator blind spot leaving the roundabout and the 30 sign on the right side because there's a primary school on the right side as well we are almost done with our exam because the examiner asked the student do you know where the SO gas station is and the, ex uh, the student said ah, I don't know really well and then the examiner said okay just go on driving your instructor will tell you where we go because almost everything of the exam was done we just needed to finish at the SO gas station 30 
is the speed limit. Then we had the priority sign for the streets. Like here, you see the single priority You see the single priority sign for this street, and you have to search it for the next one as well. There it is. That's relaxing traffic signs. From here you can already see a pedestrian crossing and pedestrian crossing you always need to scan with your eyes both sides how it develops nobody there single priority sign and going on into a light right curve On that day, on the right side, the speed checking machine was placed by the city of Bad Soden to take the speed violations. Here on the right side you can see it, speed checking machine. green traffic light and the examiner said please turn right at the next traffic light so mirrors indicator blind spot not needed right now because we are not moving into the blind spot that's necessary before you enter the blind spot zone red traffic light Red traffic light is always planning time. So here you should check the red traffic light and in your right mirror you should see what's probably coming from behind at the pavement because this will be the direction where you um, gonna turn. On the opposite side, on, yeah, on the other side of the street you see the house with the left side shop is the Vodafone shop and right of the Vodafone shop is my driving school. One of two driving schools in Bad Soden. One is in Neuenhain and this is in downtown uh, city. So we have two schools here in Bad Soden. And the one, the one of my schools is in Neuenhain and the other one is here in downtown Bad Soden. Now it's turning to green light, mirror on the right side and blind spot. Follow the right corner of the pavement and the last traffic light is visible for this exam but it stays at green light it's just for pedestrian crossing again a roundabout is coming 15 to 20 and second gear left side completely free no need to hesitate getting into the roundabout second exit off mirror indicator blind spot and please drive in the first entrance of the SO gas station. Two girls are walking on the pavement. Of course, we did not kill them. Blind spot entering the SO gas station. Watch out. It's a private property with probably lots of pedestrians. Especially in front of the main entrance. Yes, on the left side you can see the next driving school car. My colleague is waiting for us or waiting for the examiner. And that's all. A nice test <coughs> exam. Thank you for watching and see you next time.